Welcome to Carvinci Rezo. My mission is to help editors create stunning masterpieces without spending even one pound or wasting endless hours with editing. My biggest fan asked her to create the headlight blink effect, so I will show you in this tutorial how you can create it. First, I will walk you through the steps how you can mask your clip and do the effect in the fusion page yourself. After that, I will show you the preset that I created for it, how to apply it and what you can adjust with this preset. Make sure to watch the whole video because you need the first steps to understand the preset. So let's hop right into DaVinci Resolve. I have my clip imported right here and I have my color grade on top. I will quickly just show you my clip and I want to do this effect right here on the end. So I will create a marker and just drag it out. Right there I want to create this effect. Now click on your original clip and duplicate it by holding ALT and dragging it up. Deactivate all clips above, select your duplicated clip and go into the color page. Here go to the window tab and choose a tool. I will go with the pen tool right here and then mask your headlight by drawing a line around the light. When you're finished, go to the soft one and increase it just a little bit in between 0.10 and 0.20. Then go to the tracker tab and click on this icon to track it forward and reverse. My tracking looks good, so I will leave it. But if you want to adjust it, make sure to click on frame and then you can drag around your points. And when you're finished, click on clip again. By the way, there will be coming a masking tutorial soon where I will show you how you can mask really fast without wasting lots of time. Of course, this tutorial will be within the free version. But now, right click on the node field right here and add alpha output. Connect the blue points. Now, if you click on this icon right here, you can see your mask. This time, it's a different step than in the previous tutorials because now we have to invert the mask so we don't see the headlight and only see the car. For that, go to the window tab and click on this icon right here and then your mask will invert. Now this looks good, so go back to the edit page. Here we have now our original clip. If we deactivate the upper clip with pressing D on the keyboard, there's our original clip and on the top there's the mask clip. But before we go into the fusion page and create this effect, right click on the mask clip and create new fusion clip. Then go into the fusion page. Make sure median 1 is selected and press on this icon to bring in a background node. The background node will automatically come with a merge node and that's good, but we have to change the inputs of the merge node. So click on the merge one node and press Ctrl T to swap the inputs. Then select your background node and click on this icon to bring in a transform node. It should automatically connect. After that go to your background node, go to the frame where you want to create your effect. For me this is round about here and then change the type gradient. Select the first point right here and drag this icon right here on the left next to your headlight just about here then create another point in the left middle and do the same drag this icon to the middle left just right here and then create a point on the middle right and do the same just go to the middle right right here and then go all the way to the right, select this point and do the same and select a point on the right. Just like that. Because if you have a car with different colors, then this will really elevate the effect and make it look way more realistic. But if you have a white car like here, you could usually just 
make one point on the left completely white and one point on the right completely white but for this it looks good so we now go to the transform node i want my effect to happen right here on this frame so i will drag the y position a little bit up but not all the way so that the whole headlight is filled with the color then i will create a keyframe and go a few frames to the left and then increase the y position so we don't see the background anymore then i will go to the middle point and a few frames to the right and i will also increase the y position so we don't see it anymore then go through your clip and make sure that the background is not visible in any frame of your video so that this light right here doesn't cross this line for this video it's good and now we have already the effect go back to the edit page now you can enable all the clips above and now you can see your effect but to create this effect even faster i created a preset for it you can find the preset if you go to the first link in the description copy it and paste it into your browser. Then we will get to my Carbinci Resolve store where you can find the free headlight blink effect. Just click on download now, continue check this box download now and download it. After that you can find it in your download folder, just double click the file, open DaVinci Resolve and it will ask you if you want to install the effect. Click on install. Now before you apply this effect we have to just quickly delete everything in the fusion page that we did before make sure media in and media out are connected and go back to the edit page also make sure that your mask clip is a fusion clip then hold alt and drag your mask clip up again so you have two duplicates of your clip now go to the effects library under effects carinchy resolve and here you can find the headlight blink effect. Just drag and drop it onto your second clip, so the clip in the middle. Now you can close the effects library and open the inspector. Here you have all the controls. If you scroll through, you can already see the effect, but you can see that it is really long. But we will adjust this later. Now I will guide you through the controls. Here you have the design controls. You can change the color as we did before in the background node by just clicking these points and then adjusting the color. If you only have one color, just delete the points. After you adjusted the color, close the design label and open the animation. Here you can choose between two effects. You can have the blink effect, so it goes down in the middle of the clip and then it goes up again or you can choose only close then it will go down but it will not open again you can do that if you for example duplicate your clips next to it and then reverse all your clips and then you have this boomerang kind of effect so the eye closes and then with the reverse clip it opens just like that but we don't want to do that so i will close it and delete all of that and go back to the second clip into the effects where I can see the controls but you can also invert it by just clicking on invert animation and with that it's closed in the beginning and then it opens but I will set everything on default again so we have the blink effect now you can play around with the length and the offset if you want to see what you're making just deactivate the upper clip and now you can see the background and you can see what you are changing. With the length you will change how far the background will go down. So with the offset you can change it so that the eye doesn't get closed all the way for example. And then you can adjust the angle. My car is a little bit rotated, so I will increase the angle just a little bit, so it's parallel to the headlight. 
These are all the controls. If you want to make this effect faster, then you can just drag the ends of your clip and the effect will automatically adjust to the length of your clip because this effect is time responsive. So if I play it now, it's way faster. But I want to create this effect right here in the middle between my markers. So I will just drag it between my marker right here. And now I have it between my markers. When you are satisfied with your effect, just select all your clips, right click and hit new compound clip, create and now you can speed ramp it and make other adjustments. I will speed ramp it with my preset that I created and I will choose the basic 2 and then go back to the edit page and just make it a little bit faster and now I have a speed ramp with this effect. Thanks for watching, if you want to support me, just go to the controls of the preset and click on one of these buttons. And if you want me to create a tutorial about a specific effect, then just write it down into the comments and leave a like and subscribe for more presets. See you in the next one.